curious case of Ramapithecus, right? right? Which, if you look at a lot of textbooks in the 1970s, they said this was an early hominin, potentially, you know, 15 million years ago or so. Um, and now, of course, we don't think that at all. And, you know, that whole thing got started from a couple of teeth and a bit of the, the, the upper jaw, mm. where people saw way too much in those little scraps of bone. You know, ultimately suggesting that, well, not only is it a hominin, but some people went so far, it's bipedal. Well, it's a hominin, it's going to be bipedal, probably use tools, all this kind of stuff, right? Some people even suggested central place foraging, right? Like, it's dangerous. It usually will come back and bite you in the ass. So I do think there is a tendency for many of us, not all of us, but many of us who are the people who don't spend as much time popularizing, who are generally interested in the day-to-day -day science to not engage as much in these debates because we see the downside, particularly in a U.S. context.